Welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to dive right into the first segment because my colleague over at KISS 105.3, Sandra Plakakis, is standing by with us to kick things off. What a great way to kick things off for a, for a Monday, Sandra. How I'm things? not going to lie. Uh, the, excellent. Thank you for asking. And I'm not going to lie. Um, I was hoping I would be first. I didn't want to be last. <laughs> so I appreciate the excellent time slot. It really mm. comes a little bit of pressure. And uh, yeah, let's dive right in. Sandra, you're, you're a VIP. Of course, you're, of course, we'd kick off the show with you. We, you know, I know that. You know that. The, the good viewer knows that as well. Um, Sandra, this is exciting, though. And, you know, probably um, one of the things that you've been most excited about in your entire career. I know you've help, helped raise funds for many charities over your entire career. Um, but this one is it hits close to home because it's very personal for you, isn't it? Uh, most definitely. Our radio station announced uh, a couple of weeks ago that we were going to be doing a 50-50 in support of a very special camp that you may or may not have heard of. It's called Camp 10 Oaks. Uh, this camp is very exclusive. It's very special. It's for children and their families and the 2S LGBTQ plus community. And the reason why it's so near and dear to my heart is because I actually sent my son there I'm going to say it was about eight years ago when he came out to me as transgender. And this camp was, and I'm, I, I don't even say this lightly, this camp was a lifesaver really? for him. He um, was uncomfortable in his skin. He had a lot of feelings and emotions, and he just needed a group of peers. Right. And that camp gave him that space. He went away to camp for a week. And it does, you know, you do all the things that kids do at camp. You swing off the tire ropes. You jump <laughs> off of, you know, you jump off of crazy bridges to get into the lake. You do canoeing. You do all that stuff. You raid the kitchen at midnight when the camp counselors are sleeping, you know, you do all that fun stuff. But at the same time, he found kids who were exactly like him and feeling exactly the same way. And eight years later, he still has all these lifelong friends nice. from that magical time at camp. And he didn't just go for the one year, Derek. He went like for several years after that. But right. we were lucky because we had the means and we could afford it. And camp is not cheap, no. regardless of what sleep, right? It's not yeah. cheap for any kid. Uh, it's particularly difficult uh, when you are a family that doesn't have the financial means to do it. And this camp is um, a lifesaver for many kids. So that's what we're trying to do. Let's get some kids going to camp. So what's it look like right now? So the 50-50 has been going on for quite some time now. I understand you're, you're, you've, you've hit a mark that you're pretty proud of, but you'd like to see that doubled. Where do we stand now and, and w what's the goal? Well, we, we just passed the $17,000 threshold for the total jackpot, which means if you won today, you'd be winning close to $9,000, right? Like $9,000 in your pocket nice. and then the other nine going to the actual camp. I mean, do I want to say what my goal is? Okay, I want to double that by Friday. There, I said it. I do. I want to double it. If we can triple it, even better. But we know that people tend to buy tickets really close to deadlines once they realize that time is running out. So we're hoping for this mad rush in the next four days. The deadline is Friday at 8.30 a.m. Okay. So, you know, all you need is three minutes to buy these tickets online and you're good. Sandra, I want to just go back to, to the benefits again, because I, I know you and your son have a really special relationship. You know, I, I follow you on social media and, you know, the, the way that you talk about each other and, you know, and having those important conversations. And it is important to have, of course, with the parents, Sandra, but just, you know, touch on the fact how, how much that really meant having, you know, that camp experience with peers, with people have, a, have an understanding of, of what you've personally gone through. Uh, well, I will say this. Once he was at camp, obviously it was very stressful for me because I just was hoping he was having a good experience and he would come back just, a, a, you know, a more relaxed kid. Right. <laughs> because it's, it's, it was a pretty stressful time in our lives. And I remember when he got off the bus, he, he was hugging everybody like for a really long time. Everybody was getting hugged. And he finally came to me and I'm like, how is it? And he said, mom, it changed my life. Wow. And those are the words that every parent who has a child that's struggling wants to hear. Mom, it changed my life. And he had a group of peers that he could reach out to who understood him, who he could talk to about his feelings. And, and it, it, it transcended the camp after that. And even camp counselors who were role models to him, right. who had been through it years before. So the whole community 
uh, was part. It was, it's just a, a wonderful community of, of people who are accepting and supportive. And as a parent, that's all you want for your kids. Yeah. You just want them to be happy, accepted, supported. And you know what? Even the the other part of it, too, is, you know, there's a lot of bullies out there. Absolutely. And just to 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 be at camp for a week and not experience any fear of being bullied, of name calling. The kids were off social media for the week, which is great. Yeah. I, I'm assuming that that still holds true for these kids. They don't really have phones for the week. So they can just relax and not worry about anything happening in the outside world. They can just hone in on their present situation. And it's so wonderful. My God, if we could have a camp like that for adults, too. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. I can tell you on a, on a personal basis, you know, uh, I, I went to camp and, it, and I agree in a different way. It was life changing for me because I, I kind of wanted to feel like everybody else, you know, with somebody that grew up, you know, with with incontinence. Um, it was a frightening you know, decision to actually go to camp. But I, my brother and my sister had come back from camp, told me how magical it was. And I just said, you know, I've, I've got I've to give it a try. And it, it was, as you just described it. For me, you know, when, as a young boy, it was absolutely life-changing. So let's tell everybody at home how they can help change some other lives. How do people get a 50-50 ticket, Sandra? Okay, this is so easy. It's frighteningly easy. Okay, you, you know your phone, right? We yeah. all have a phone. Yeah. Okay, you know when you go to... Oh, that's me as a kid, by the way. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay, all you have to do is text the word CAMP to 31053. So where you would put the phone number, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this real easy for anyone who's not phone savvy. Where you would put the phone number, type 31053 and write the subject CAMP, C-A-M-P, hit send, you will get a bounce back link. Love it. And then just follow those links and buy the tickets. You can buy them for as little as 10 bucks. It is that simple, everybody at home. Hey, don't go away. Lots more coming up right here on Daytime Ottawa.